Hi everyone, I want to share with you a really cute die that I got from AliExpress today. And it's this pillow box stocking die set. And it's really tiny. I thought it would be a little bit larger, but it's still cute. It's about three and three quarters and what one and five eighths. And you get all these additional pieces. So here's the stocking and then there's the pillow box. You get a snowflake, a cute little tiny tag. Really, really tiny, but so cute. And then these pieces are to layer on the stocking. So you get those pieces. And then these are the additional add-ons that you can add. So you know this cute flower. There's a couple of different leaves here. And then here's a set that you can create little cute little hollies. And then here's a banner. You got some stitched star and heart. And then a cute little bell. Oops. It's a cute little bell. And then this piece, I'm not sure what this piece is for, but it looks like it cuts out a little um, piece where you can maybe thread your um, stocking so it can hang. I'm thinking that's what it, what it does. So those are the extra dies that come in the set. So here are the cute little um, pillow box stockings. Aren't these so cute? So that's what it looks like. And this can fit some sequins. Maybe a nice little pack of glitter. You can even put a little piece of chocolate in here. But it's so adorable. I'm thinking of maybe making 12 of these and then numbering it 1 through 12 and just hang it on like a frame or something. I thought that would be cute. So here are the ones that I made. And then I add an actual bell on this. Even though it does come with a die that creates a bell, I actually put an actual bell. I love the sound. And then I used a um, couple of older stacks that were actually Christmas. So I pulled out some of my old stacks of 6x6. Six six. This is Jill Lizzie Polka Dot Party. I just love the colors. And then the crepe paper notes and things. This one is actually Christmas. This is an older crepe paper bundled up 6x6. Six six. So I'm going to show you just really quickly how to put the stocking together. Everything else is pretty self-explanatory of how to add it to the stocking. So you're going to die cut, let's use this one, you're going to die cut the pillow box and then the stocking. Now you'll notice on the pillow box it has this little, um, little cut out here so you can pull the box, but it, this part right here is scored. So it's like a curve and then I just like to pinch it. And then you're going to have these two side pieces that has a score line and then you just add your 1 8 double sided tape. So I use some red line tape here. And then you'll have this piece that you're going to add some adhesive to. And then you just fold that and then you just fold in that score also. I'm sure you're all familiar with the pillow box and how it works. Okay, basically this additional piece is what's going to adhere to the stocking. Okay, so let's quickly put that together. And then you can decorate it however you want. Lots of cute ways you could decorate this. So let's add this to the stocking. So I'm just going to line it up. Actually, let's do it this way. I want to make sure it's all even. Line it up to the top here. Okay. And then do this side. Pull that in. Okay. Now this piece, I'm going to remove the tape here. Again, it just basically adheres to the stocking. Because normally you would have two of these cutouts to make the pillow box. So you're just going to bend. I, I tuck this in first. So tuck it in. And then I push this down. And then I just take my, let's get my 
foam folder. And then I push that, I don't know if you can see it, there's that tab. You just push it down so it adheres to the stocking. Okay, I just, I just kind of give it a light rub. There you go. And then you push this in, then push that in. You got a cute little pillow box stocking. And then you can make a bunch of these and give it as embellishments. That's really cute. And you can make some really cute ornaments with this too. That's what I'm thinking of. Making some ornaments for my girls. So that is my share today. Thanks for watching. Bye.